Here are the eight biggest buffs in Bloons history. Number eight is the Inferno Ring. This guy has gotten price and damage buffs throughout the years, but the big one that made him make this list is the addition of his Meteor. A completely new attack that now does 1000 damage, has two pierce, and explodes dealing more damage and applies a fire damage over time effect. Definitely a huge improvement to the guy as there are even strategies built around this new attack. Next, we have the Engineer. Now, there have been countless buffs to the Sentry Expert and Champion as there was a lot to do there, but the big reason this guy is on the list is because of the cross pathing improvements. Now the Engineer can target exactly where he places his Cleansing Foam and Bloon Traps. Gone are the days of Foam RNG and Traps being set to close. This vastly improved his farming and reduced RNG on tough rounds. Number 6 is the Boomerang Monkey, most notably the Permacharge. This guy has gotten his ability and base damage doubled, attack speed increased by 40%, plus a few buffs to its cross pathing. On top of this, it got the huge buff of being able to switch throwing hands, making it much more useful on many maps. This was enough to make the list already, but the Glaive Lord's addition of the Shredding Damage Over Time effect and increased damage to its attacks and orbiting rings made it number 6. Next up, we have the Spactory. Now you know that the Perma Spactory has been constantly nerfed throughout the years, but the other two cross paths have gotten tons of love. Supermines has gotten over a 40% increase in attack speed, 50% increase in pierce, extra damage, cost reductions, and some improvements to its explosions. Not to mention that it's previous upgrades got similar buffs. And the middle cross path is littered with cost reductions, extra damage, and cross pathing improvements. The funny thing is that they still aren't that meta, so we might see more buffs for them in the future. Number 4 is the Bomb Shooter, more specifically the Bottom Path. Unlike the previous towers we've talked about, there are only two changes that really make me put the Bomb Shooter on this list, and they are the buff to Frag Bombs that make this guy able to pop Black Bloons, and the change to Recursive Cluster to make it trigger clusters every second shot instead of every third. These have really made the 204 Bomb Shooter what it is today, an absolute unit at taking out group ceramics. In third, we have the Druid. No surprise here, but the Vine rework of the Druid of the Jungle made it change from a farming only tower to a staple of the early game, as it can solo most waves pre round 40 with its global range and lead popping power. Just slap some pickles on it and you're good to go. And I guess all the buffs to the top path and the Vine rework of the Spirit of the Forest aren't too bad either. In second, we have the Sniper Monkey for two big reasons. The first is the change to how Bouncing Bullet and Shrapnel receive buffs. Initially, Pierce buffs to Bouncing Bullet snipers would increase the number of bounces the bullet can do, but now it increases the shrapnel's pierce produced by these bullets. What seemed to be a non-factor made the middle path sniper a balloon popping machine. Combine this with the change of circular shrapnel to cone and the balloons are in for a nasty treat. The second reason it's on the list is the buff to maim and cripple mobs where Ninja Kiwi made the shrapnel of these towers stun as well, providing much more crowd control, especially versus DDTs. And before we get to number one, we have some honorable mentions. The Glue Storm for the extra damage to its ability, the Submarine for its sub commander and cross pathing buffs, the Monkey Ace for damage and price buffs to every path, and the biggest one for more damage, Blast Radius, and Bernie Stuff synergy. But number one is the Wizard Monkey. Completely disregard the absurd number of Pierce, damage, and ability buffs Ninja Kiwi has given the Summon and Wizard Lord Phoenix over the years and focus on the Prince of Darkness with me. Once the Neville Longbottom of the Wizarding World, Update 21 turned him into Voldemort. I mean, not only did he start summoning balloons in a smart way, but he also gets more damage the more souls that are in his graveyard. And this extra damage gets applied to all of his attacks, including Wall of Fire, which is completely busted. This has been toned down a little bit since then, but even so, taking the Prince of Darkness from day one to now is the biggest buff in BTD6 history. If you want to see the biggest monkey nerfs in history, you should check out this video right here.